Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Happy week. Is it first day in a week? And it's very important to every one of us. I'm so glad and happy to be here today. And I believe that you too, you are happy. I see you succeeding this week. I see God blessing you this week. And I know that God is going to do great things for you this week. Hallelujah. It's a blessing to be here this morning to discuss with you. Praise the Lord. And these are items that I want to discuss with you today. My name is Apostle Dr. T.J. Linus, the Senior Pastor of God's Fune Healing Center. You all know me. And I pray that God is going to bless you. In Abuja, we welcome you. Thank you, uh, great woman of God. Jacinta Chinwe Samuel, the Lord bless you, ma. I'm grateful that you are online with me. The Lord will reward you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Like I said, my name is Apostle Dr. T.J. Linus, the Senior Pastor of God's Fune Healing Center here in Abuja. I greet every one of you all around the world in Nigeria in Africa, in Asia, in US, in UK, I greet you. I have few things to discuss today. And those things are, number one, a true and sincere pastor. A true and sincere pastor. That is number one. Number two, a good and supportive pastor to his members. A good and supportive pastor to his members. Then number three, keep to your agreement as a pastor. Keep to your agreement as a pastor. Then number four, as a pastor or a Christian, you cannot have a covenant with God. It is God that will have a covenant with you. Hallelujah. It is God that will have a covenant with you. We are coming to that. But let's go back to a true and sincere pastor. What are his characters? A true and a sincere pastor. What are his characters? Number one of his character is that he fears God. He fears God from his heart. A true and a sincere pastor fear God in his heart. He does not do it for people to say he is fearing God or honoring God. Even in his closes, he has a heart of God's fear. Praise the Lord. He treats people well. He does not treat people badly. A true and a sincere pastor does not treat people badly. Praise the Lord. He treats people well, just like himself. Number three of a true and sincere pastor is that he does not look so proud. Hallelujah. He does not look so proud. Praise the Lord. 
a trust. He said, Pastor is a humble person. And the Bible says, I will raise up the humble, but I will bring down the proud. And every time you see a pastor is too proud, it is somehow impossible for him to rise. Even in ministry, praise the Lord. Even in ministry, it is very difficult for a pastor to rise even in ministry if he is a pastor who has pride. A true and sincere pastor does not look proud. Thank you, uh, great woman, uh, Jacinta Chinwe Samuel. Thank you so much. I thank you for your contribution. Thank you, um, Apostle. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Apostle Joshua Olua Sheun Adeniji. The Lord bless you for being with me online. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. I'm humbled to that in Jesus' name. A true and sincere pastor does not look proud because your proud will not take you anywhere. Praise the Lord. Your proud will only reduce your anointing because members will run away from you. Praise the name of the Lord. Then finally, I don't want to talk too much on it, but a true and sincere pastor does not insult members just because they are not doing the things that he wants them to do. He does not do that. He is a patient person. Thank you, Apostle Frank. Greatness. Beer. God bless you for being online with me. I'm so humble to it. I'm humble. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. The Lord bless you. I love you so much. I love all of you so much. Thank you. So, a true and sincere pastor does not look down on his members. He look at them as if they are equal. When Christ was with his disciples, there was no different. They were all together. He does not insult his members. He does not insult the disciples. He was with them, eating on the same table with them. But today you will see that the plate and the, you know, the seat of the pastors is different from the seat of his members trying to show different pastor will sit on the altar and the members will be on the pew trying to show different i'm not disputing that that you are a leader and you can set aside yourself i'm not disputing it but it is not necessary praise the lord it is not necessary